Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Salas and in this video we are reviewing the new Phoenix HT30R white laser flashlight. This thing's insane. It has a beam distance capable of touching a mile out. We're going to see exactly what this has to offer to find out if it is right for your everyday carry, outdoor adventure, or next tactical mission. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gear. With that being said, let's get right into it. The Phoenix HT30R is a class one white laser flashlight. And even though it only has 500 lumens, it boasts 600,000 candela. And what that means is that it focuses all of that light into a single point, making for an extremely accurate flashlight. We're gonna talk about this light's impressive beam and the advantages and disadvantages that come with it. But before we do that, here are some specs on this light. This flashlight measures in with an overall length of 7.05 inches and it has a thicker head diameter of 1.57 inches. The body is very comfortable to grip onto and it comes in at 1.02 inches. The weight on this flashlight comes in at 9.31 ounces with the battery included and it's running on a 21700 5000 milliamp lithium ion battery which is rechargeable. The charging port and battery life indicator are hidden underneath the screw down crown and I really prefer this over some of those plastic flaps that just cover the charging port. I feel that this adds to the durability and longevity of the flashlight giving it an IPX68 waterproof rating. I really enjoy the feel of this flashlight. It feels quite hefty and very durable in the hand as well as having enough space for your hand to get a full grip on while still accessing the tail cap buttons. The tail switches are rubber with a primary one being a little bit bigger. This offers momentary and constant on. It also has a mode selector switch, which is a little bit smaller. And I do like that this also provides instant strobe access when the flashlight's turned off. The three modes for this flashlight are as follows. It has a 500 lumen setting that will run you for 2.33 hours and hits roughly 5,000 feet of beat distance. The 100 lumen low setting will run for roughly 7.25 hours and has 2,000 feet of beat distance. This also features a strobe which is extremely disorientating but it also catches attention very quickly if using it for any sort of signaling purposes. This flashlight seriously blew me away with its beam performance. While testing this it was easily able to melt through any sort of ambient light and other photonic barriers such as car headlamps and tinted windows. For a quick comparison this is the flashlight compared to a Phoenix TK20R V2 we recently did a review on. This laser flashlight is in a class all of its own with its beam distance capabilities. On the flashlight it has a pocket clip itself however I found it is quite big to fit inside of your pocket comfortably for extended periods of time, but I can certainly see this fitting onto a work belt or even a tack vest. Some of the pros of this flashlight are even though it is much more compact than other long distance throwers, it can fight out of its weight class because of that beam intensity. It also does not overheat because it has incredible thermal regulation. And this is also in part due to that body design with having a lot of milling work, but the internal computers of this flashlight will prevent it from overheating. So you can use it for extended periods of time searching in the outdoors. I'm also a big fan of the charging port, how it's hidden underneath the screw down crown. Again, I believe it just adds to that durability. This also does have a five year warranty. So it's really cool to see coming from Phoenix. Another nice thing is that while letting other people who aren't super familiar with flashlights test this out, it was easy and intuitive for them to change through the settings, which lets me know that it has a decent user interface. And what I really enjoy is that even at really further distances where other flashlights can't even consider hitting, this still gives you an insanely sharp image and a lot of information to process. I really enjoyed that the outer ring at distance is not super rigid and sharp on the edges, so it kind of focuses the eye into whatever you're targeting. Now, some things to consider and possible drawbacks for this flashlight. Starting off, the sheath. I don't know what they were thinking about. When I pulled this out of the box, I literally started laughing because I was like, what is this? I suppose in a pinch, if this was all you had, you could make it work if you needed to, but really it's super loose and flimsy and does not securely hold the flashlight. Also, trying to reholster this in the dark is a joke. You're not gonna be able to do that easily. Now, with regards to the flashlight itself, I would not recommend this for any sort of everyday carry, uh, close-up detail, task work it just bounces back way too much light into the eyes and you can't really see a big picture when clearing a room or looking for something that's dropped even for going on a walk with the dog I really feel that it's a lot of light to bounce back into your eyes and will kind of limit your night vision capabilities the last complaint I have with this is that it does have a strobe feature which is nice to see however I wish it had an SOS feature to give you that signal warning uh, if you needed this for any 
sort of search and rescue, or maybe you got lost hiking, it'd be nice to just set this or clip it to a pack and wait for help to come. While testing this out at closer distances, I have to say it kind of messed with my eyes a little bit and gave me a headache. Uh, because that beam is so concentrated, I feel that your eyes have a little bit of a tough time focusing. I wasn't the only one that had this problem. I had a couple friends that experienced a similar issue while testing this out indoors. So it is a class one laser. Be mindful of where you're using it. A pro tip though is if you do have to clear a room with it, use the umbrella technique, shine it up to the ceiling and let it kind of cast out a light. Other than that, I would highly recommend a different flashlight for those everyday carry tasks. While testing this flashlight out, I have found some of the capabilities and limitations that this flashlight offers, allowing me to easily recommend it for any sort of outdoor extended use. I can see this flashlight being an excellent tool for any sort of search and rescue teams, or maybe on job sites where you need to check parts such as bridge parts or roller coasters, maybe even tunnels or any sort of caves. If you have a lot of property, maybe being able to scan at night, being able to check it, make sure there's no trespassers. And on that note of security, being able to burn through tinted windows and use it as a distraction advice or to point out things, I think this is an excellent lighting instrument. At the time of this review, you can find this flashlight for around 280 bucks. It does have a warranty and it is rechargeable, so you will save a little bit on batteries, but just make sure you know what you're getting into and this is not an everyday carry flashlight. This is certainly something for outdoor adventure use and tactical professionals. Also, a big thank you to Phoenix for helping make this review possible by providing the flashlight. You guys will always get my honest opinions on gear and I'm super curious to know your thoughts, so let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this Phoenix HT30R. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful in any way, shape, Perform, please make sure to drop a like, share, and subscribe as this does help grow and support the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you won't miss new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, helping you upgrade your gear. While you're there, follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear and updates on gear giveaways. With that being said, my name is Tomas Alas. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.